Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to take a vector, let's say the R vector, which is defined in the XY coordinate system in two dimensions, and we're going to transform that into a new coordinate system that's being rotated through an angle phi, and that we'll call that the X prime, Y prime coordinate system. So, how do we come up with a transformation matrix that defines the R vector in the new coordinate system relative to the R vector in the old coordinate system? And realizing that if we take the r vector and project it onto the x-axis, we get the magnitude of the x component, which is r cosine theta. And then if we project the vector onto the y-axis, we get the, the, the magnitude of the y component, which is equal to r times the sine of theta. So what we're going to need to do now is find a new expression where we have the r vector projected on the x prime coordinates, uh, uh, x prime axis and we have to project the r vector onto the y prime axis. So we're going to find r sub x prime and r sub y prime in terms of r sub x and r sub y. So this is how we do that. So first of all, we're going to write that the r sub x prime is going to be equal to, now notice the angle between the vector and the axis is theta minus phi. So this becomes r, the magnitude of r, times the cosine of the difference of those angles of theta minus phi. And then here we can define the y vector, uh, not the y vector, but the y component, r sub y prime in the new coordinate system, which is going to be equal to r times the sine of theta minus phi. All right, so now we have the cosine of the difference of angles and the sine of difference of angles. And you might have noticed that we have the two identities up here. So the cosine of A minus B is the cosine A cosine B plus sine A sine B. So we're going to write that over here. So we have R prime X is equal to R times the cosine of theta minus phi. That's going to be the cosine of theta times the cosine of phi plus the sine of theta times the sine of phi, like this. And the same over here, we can write r prime for the new y-axis, which is equal to r times, and so here we have the sine theta phi, we use that identity here, so we have the sine of theta times the cosine of phi minus the cosine of theta times the sine of phi, like that. Okay, now, we're going to multiply out the r, and so we have r prime of x, which is equal to r times the cosine theta cosine phi plus r times the sine of theta sine of phi. And then here we do the same thing, r prime y is equal to r, that's a terrible looking r, times the sine of theta cosine phi, so let's go ahead and change this, there we go. And then minus r times the cosine of theta times the sine of phi. All right, now notice that the x component of r is r cosine theta, so this can be replaced by r sub x, and this can be replaced by r sub y, so let's do that. So r prime of x is equal to, in this case, I'll be r sub x times the cosine of phi plus r sub y times the sine of phi. And notice that now I have the r prime in the, on the x-axis expressed in terms of r sub x and r sub y. Let's do the same over here. Now notice that r sine theta is equal to r y and r cosine theta is equal to r x. So we can say that r prime of y is equal to, this would be r sine theta, so that's r y times the cosine of phi minus r x times the sine of phi. But notice we have x and y reversed here. We're on x first and y second, so let's reverse that. So we can write that r prime y is equal to minus r sub x times the sine of phi plus r sub y times the cosine of phi. All right, so now we have both the x and y components in our new rotated coordinate system expressed in terms of the x and y components in the old unrotated coordinate system. Now we're ready to turn that into a matrix format. So now we can write the vector or the matrix Rx prime and Ry prime is equal to, so that's this and this, 
the transformation matrix, which can be found by taking the cosine of phi, sine phi, cosine phi, sine phi, and the negative sine phi and the positive cosine phi. So negative sine phi and the cosine of phi multiplied times r sub x and r sub y. And notice how that works. This is what we're looking for. Here we have the transformation matrix in two dimensions on a rotated xy coordinate system. And notice that r sub x prime is equal to r sub x times the cosine of phi plus r sub y times the sine of phi. And here we can say that r y prime is r sub x times the negative sine of phi and r sub x, oh, then we go here, r sub y times the cosine of phi. And that, so this is, this, in essence, those two sum together in matrix format, and that's what we're looking for, the coordinate matrix to allow us to rotate an axis and then express the r vector in terms of the new coordinate system instead of the old coordinate system. And that is how it's done. Was it correct this time? This is correct. This time. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct.